hello guys in this lesson we are focusing on the how to create a spring element in active suspension system design especially in the oleo structure okay and so we have a title in here and so my pen is not working in here but apply is applied and so we get the pen okay the spring coefficient is our title and so the spring coefficient in our study uh, has three main parts the upper link torsional spring and the down link illustrated by the free body diagram in here and so free body diagram can be given as the specific dimension of these things like this one and so we have the torsional elements or torsional spring in here and so we have the another parameter of the link and so mm, this links is a solid structure but in some condition it behaves like the spring one okay the feature of the springs uh, can be construed or can be represented by using this kind of links okay and so in order to create a correct form of this links we have the dimension okay w u h u and h d and w d in here and with the given length of l must be given in here and so we have a torsional spring element in here and then we can create the most uh, main part of this spring by using these three parts okay and so we have the related force it's a direction of down position and so we have the x deflection position in here okay and then <coughs> how can we calculate the total spring coefficients parameter in that direction and so we can utilize the whole these things based on the what the shape parameters like w u h u w d h d can be given in here and also we have the or we should select the material property okay like we can use the steel or aluminium or the any material in order to create a this spring factor in here okay and so this can be also l or st 37 blah 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 okay and so in the second place we should determine the this springs is consisted of whether the parallel or serial connection because the serial and parallel connection has different properties in order to calculate the correct spring coefficient factors okay and so we should determine the serial or parallel connection is included in here okay and so if the system is the serial connection then the whole system elements each by each or each one each transmit the force value after the another one okay for example if we push or if we apply the f force to the upper link and then upper must be banded okay and so if it is banded then torsional elements takes the force related to the this force okay and so in our system the whole elements cannot be overloaded by using this force but each one each is overloaded or each one is applied to this force and so we have the serial connection 
at this moment okay yes so in the third place we should calculate the specific spring coefficients of these things we have the spring factor in here in that beam and we have the another spring factor in that beam and so we have this key s parameter in here as a torsional spring and then we can calculate it by the in the first place the ku must be equal to elasticity of u it which is directly related to the material property vu and hu over 3 which is the inertia factor of these things and then we should divide it by the 4 times l over 3 okay this is completely comes from the inertia but this comes from the material property of these things okay and so the kd must be calculated in the same way with this uh, formula and so ad times omega d times hd over 3 and divided by 4 times l okay this is standard formula for the beaming approach and so if we select a cylindrical things or cylindrical one then the formula needs to be changed okay and so if your assume that if your uh, design or the physical system has the cylindrical properties and then this formula must be changed with the correct one okay <coughs> and so in the third place we should calculate the key ace value and such as we have a spring at this time <coughs> with the diameter of d and with a greater diameter of the s in the outer diameter and we have the n times spring coil okay <coughs> and so we can calculate it by using the general torsional spring formula as the gs <coughs> times the which is the torsional elasticity of these things the s over 4 which is the diameter of the this uh, spring and so we have the 8 times ds the greater ds in this position outer diameter in this time and so 3 and times n and so we can easily deduct that or deduce that the if the coil number is increases and then the key s must be lower value of the spring coefficients okay and so we can easily set the spring coefficient factor by using this design in order to create a correct or required spring coefficient for our system okay and so in the second place we should focus on the another thing on this coefficient calculation because in that time we should calculate the another perspective of these things because in free body diagram we have such kind of serial elasticity formula in that time okay and so we have the F force applied to this direction and then we have the L and L must be given in here and so we have the key U with the theta KD and key S spring coefficients in here but in this figure forks act on the perpendicular to the ground however the bending moment is only apply to the perpendicular for beam as such what like this one okay and so we have the f times cosinus theta f times sinus theta in this position okay in this term especially in the f times sin theta compression occurs which means that uh, there is another elastance factor for it although it's an important parameter the bending moment is higher than that which means we could uh, neglect it okay 
we can remove this force action in real life that happening in here but we don't need to use it because the whole the formula relates to the, the spring factor ku kd and ks is derived based on what f times cos theta okay and so in order to create the total spring coefficient factor we should write it down as the fk must be equal to f times cos theta and so we have the serial connection in here and then 1 kd 1 divided by ku and 1 divided by ks over inverse factor in here and so we have a deflection parameter in here okay this is our basic notation of these things but the total equivalent k factor must be equal to 1 divided by kd 1 divided by ku 1 divided by ks must be added in each term minus 1 times 1 divided by cos theta this interesting result or conclusion but it's correct because the whole f cosinus theta is changed in time or the with respect to the theta or in general means with respect to the x position value okay and so we can write it or we can calculate it as the this factor by using the this cosinus theta formula okay and then we should calculate it by the using the basic geometrical formulation such as we have the standard formula in here with the l l and we have theta in the first place we have a x0 displacement value in here and so by using the geometry or trigonometry and so sin theta must be equal to the x0 minus x divided by l okay and so this is x and so if the is if the x is increased and the sin theta must be lower than the normal things okay and so by using this formula notation cos theta can be calculated by the l square times x0 x square divided by l okay this is our general formula to create or to apply or to correct calculation of the this force representation okay and so the total spring factor can be calculated by k equivalent must be equal to 1 ku plus 1 kd plus 1 ks inverse time l divided by l square x0 x square okay and so if we increase the x value and then we get the higher value of the spring coefficients at this time okay and so uh, this is our lesson related to the calculation of the spring formula but in this in the next lesson we will focus on how to be establish the dynamic model of the damping ratio in suspension design system